from deleting your entire game to forcing you to play in your underwear? These are 15 games that humiliate you for cheating. If you're playing any game and find a way to cheat, you're likely gonna try it out. But in this South Park game, the devs had completely prepared for it. There's a part of the game where you have to find a passcode to get into Cartman's secret basement. But if you Google the answer to cheat your way in, he'll appear and start roasting you for cheating. Okay, so I guess you just wanna Tom Brady your way through the whole game? What's the matter, can't do it on your own? And that's not the only time entering a simple code changed the game. Because in Banjo-Kazooie, they take punishing cheaters to a whole new level. Within the game, there's various codes you could use from increasing items to opening entire areas early. Now you might have wanted to use these cheats if you were stuck on a level. However, Gruntilda would only take so much. Doing it once or twice is fine, but dare to use it a third time and bottles will appear warning you against cheating again. If you ignore the message, Gruntilda will appear and delete your entire save file. It kinda seems like a joke, but the next time you try to save, you watch as the game fades away with the witch's cackling laugh. And if that wasn't enough, you even see the game over cutscene with Gruntilda celebrating your deleted save, and once you return to the menu, you'll even find all of your progress wiped. Starting all over again is a huge punishment, but what about not letting you play the game at all? If you try to cheat the devs by pirating this game, Mirror's Edge has a surprise waiting for you. The game loads up perfectly fine and seems normal until you realize you're moving incredibly slow, making it impossible to complete even the first jump. I gotta admit, this is such a clever way to mess with cheaters. And the creators of RuneScape took messing with a cheater even further. If anyone in the game was cheating, instead of banning them on the spot, the devs decided to make an entire event out of it. If the anti-cheat detects a player is hacked three times, you'd be sentenced to an island called Botany Bay. A crowd of other players are alerted and can even attend a trial for the cheater, with the bot finder general giving a hilarious speech. They strike me as exactly the kind of person who would use a bot to get what they want. Once he finishes up, all the players watching are then able to vote on the way the hacker will get banned. They give you three choices, ranging from being crushed, eaten, and even disintegrated by the gods. All of that in front of an entire server humiliating you for cheating before getting permanently banned forever. you love to see it. And while hacking in RuneScape affects other players, even some single-player games have their own special way of dealing with cheaters. In The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, you're able to enter shops to purchase items, but you can actually steal them instead. Once you pick up an item, if you head towards the door, you're warned against exiting without paying. But if you decide to leave stealing the item, the game will immediately shame you for it. Not only that, but from then on, your character is completely renamed to Thief. And every Every single interaction for the rest of the game will make you feel more and more guilty. And it doesn't stop there. After you ignored the first warning, you aren't given a second chance. If you return to the shop to buy something else, the shopkeeper will instead summon a bolt of lightning and straight up kill you. This same punishment even happened in the original, and I'm so happy the devs kept it in the remaster. And you're not allowed to cheat in Guild Wars either. It's an online game that punishes hackers publicly and makes a mini event out of it. If a player was ever caught cheating or breaking the rules in any way, the Grim Reaper would suddenly emerge and execute them on the spot. Players would randomly see this unique event occur right in front of them, causing so much hype in the chat whenever a hacker got that ban they deserve. But the community isn't the only thing mocking cheaters. Sometimes even the in-game characters do it. In Metal Gear Solid, there's a scene where Ocelot is holding you hostage strapped to an electrical machine. Now you have to save Snake by mashing a button as fast as you can to survive. However, some players might try to cheat their way through this. By using a modded controller, you could have the button auto-fire do all the pressing for you. But the devs were already one step ahead because Ocelot says this. Don't even think about using auto fire around no. And if you decide to ignore his warning, you'll find out he wasn't lying. The game will actually disregard all input from the modded controller, allowing the machine to just straight up kill you. Now, auto fire may seem like a simple cheat, but it's nothing compared to a game shark. In older games, a game shark was used to add cheat codes to practically any game. But the devs of Donkey Kong 64 made it so that if you tried to use a game shark while playing, it would just glitch out uncontrollably. From not being able to collect any items to instantly dying, nothing was worse than DK constantly spamming the bongos every few seconds. To make matters worse, if you saved at any point while you had the game shark loaded, the forced glitches would save with it, 
literally breaking your game forever. But sometimes the cheats are down to the game itself. In The Witcher 3, players were making the most out of a field where cows would constantly respawn to sell their leather and make money from it. This basically created an infinite money glitch. CD Projekt Red discovered the exploit and released a patch called the Bovine Defense Force Initiative, making a nearly unkillable enemy spawn whenever you farm too many cows. Suddenly a chort would begin running at you out of nowhere and you'd be forced to leave or fight this insanely OP monster. And later on in the game, you can even find a tax man who asks you if you've been farming cows as a reference to this exploit. Have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the White Orchard area? But for a cheat that everyone knows, we gotta talk about the Konami code. The game company has added this into so many of their games over the years, leaving players to try it out each time a new one releases. So when Silent Hill 3 came out, players who attempted to use the cheat code would instead be met with a much different result. After entering up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, one of the main characters, Detective Douglas, will suddenly be wearing boxers for the rest of the game. Instead of humiliating you for attempting to cheat, the game creates this embarrassing scene every every time you see him. And this just completely changes the entire context of every interaction. Heretic is a first person fantasy shooter that was built off the same engine as Doom, but that meant that it also carried over some of the most famous cheat codes. One of the most popular was IDK FA, which would usually instantly give the player all keys, armor, items, and more. But the devs over at Raven had already accounted for this. When you try to use these same cheat codes in Heretic, all of your weapons and ammo get wiped out and replaced with a single stick. And it gets even worse because the game just straight up says you don't deserve weapons anymore. Bruh. From being told off for using hacks to a character dedicated to yelling at you, Animal Crossing is a game you'd never expect to have an NPC bust you for cheating. Sometimes players would quit the game without saving to go back to a previous save undoing any mistakes they might have made. To prevent this, Nintendo created the character Resetti purely to lecture you about reverting the save. And each time you do it, he'll get more and more annoyed and his speeches will even get longer. But a mistake you won't be able to revert is cheating in the game prey. During the treasure hunt side quest, there's a code you need to solve to unlock a special adventurer's toolkit. However, if you're lazy and decide to cheat by looking it up, you get a far worse reward. Arcane made it so that if you skip the puzzle, you'll get the Game Master Ayers instead, which would super debuff all of your items, ruining the rest of your playthrough. And it's even more humiliating when you're exposed for cheating on your public profile. In the Superman's Return game, if you decided to activate cheats at any point, you would be granted with an Xbox achievement. Now, it sounds pretty great at first, until you realize it gives you a zero gamer score with a description that says you needed a desperate plea for help. But the absolute worst part is that it stayed on there for all your friends to see. Max Payne 3 also decided to embarrass you by ending your cheating in public servers and moving you to a lobby full of only hackers. Instead of using cheats to have an easy time, you would just be put against other hackers completely trolling everyone in the lobby. This is actually such a 200 IQ move by the devs. Even games like Fall Guys have taken inspiration from this with their own cheater island. And the Stanley Parable even has something similar. If you ever attempt to use server cheats within the command console, you'll be locked away in the serious room and lectured all about cheating. And if you thought you could cheat your way out of there, you'll only find yourself in a more serious room. And GTA even has its own serious room. If you're ever caught cheating or even being a bad sport, you'll be sent into a dunce lobby. Here you'll find a bunch of others who did the same, and you're humiliated with a permanent dunce hat glued to your head until you regain that freedom. Games like Undertale also have their own special special ending for cheaters. If you decided to use hacks to skip straight to the end credits, you would be greeted by Sans who is confused how you got here and says that it must have been an error. He even tells you that the devs might have added a unique ending just for this situation. He then calls you a dirty hacker, tells you to get out of here, and from all the possible endings in the game, this has got to be one of my favorites. And that's 15 games that humiliate you for cheating. It's been Sammy, keep it here on T5G.